Hey everybody, um, <clears throat> in this video I'm going to show you how I improve the UI of a single screen in my game, namely the shop screen, because I've been looking a little bit and it's been like this for over a month, but I don't really like it. This is the shop screen in the game, in the Mafia game that I'm, I made. And by the way, it's a Dutch game, so you, you you wouldn't be probably wouldn't be able to understand what this they say here. But this is the shop screen. As a gangster in the game, you are able to buy weapons, protection, and a house. So let me walk you through the screen. First, you have the title here. Oh, and by the way, this is the header which shows your statistics in the game. This is my money. This is how many bullets I have, this is my respect, and this is my rank. Uh, so this is the screen. And you get here by... Oh, let me make... Let me quickly make this a little bit smaller. Otherwise you can't see the whole iPhone. So this is the screen. You get here if you click on the home and then go to the, to the shop tab. And first it has a header, and this is how it looks like. This is what it looks like. Um, first, this is the whole screen. So first it has a header. Sorry, I'm going from... from. I'm a little bit chaotic, but I try to keep it neat. <laughs> okay, so this is the header, shop. Uh, this is the help. This is some help, some beginner help that explains you the functionality of this page. Then we get the weapon shop. It, sh it says that you, you, your current weapon is your left hand and you can, can buy a water, gu water gun for 5,000 euros and here you can click to buy it. And look, then here you have the protection shop. Your protection currently is your right hand and you can buy a knife for 5,000. And then we have the, the house shop and currently we are homeless and we can buy a tree house for 5000 by clicking on buy and currently this is uh, well it works fine but I don't really like it there are a few things that I don't like namely first of all the title I almost can't read it and this is not just for the shop but also for status and for some other places where it has a title it's too dark so I'm going to change something about that. Secondly, I think the initial help uh, is, is too long. People don't like reading. And I think it should be shorter, the explanations. That's why I think, um, yeah, it should be sh shorter. Thirdly, um, there's a lot of scrolling. It works fine. But yeah, it, if you go to this part of the shop, it doesn't even show you the buy button when you're seeing your, your current weapon. There's just too much information, it's too stretched out. And yeah, it doesn't really uh, look nice because if you click buy now, for example, oh, by the way, please ignore this error, it, but it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't happen in real life. Um, so yeah, if I click here on buy, um, then it gives me an alert that I bought it and then it says I have it here and I can buy a BB gun now for a hundred thousand it's a little bit expensive but okay let's do it and as you can see it instantly kind of re-renders the the whole page and yeah it works but like sometimes also the images are smaller or bigger and that makes it all not really look the best, I think. So, just bought a, a knife. I can buy this dog for 45. All right, I have it. And yeah, it works fine. But yeah, let's change it. Let's make it better, right? So what I wanna do in this video is really simple. I just want to split up the screen. So first of all, I wanna make this shorter. I wanna give it another color of title. 
And then I want to split it up into two, three screens. So we have the weapon shop, the protection shop, and the home shop. And uh, we can just click on, on, the, on the title and then go there. And I don't want to make it too complicated. I don't want to add another navigator, like a tab navigator inside of a tab navigator inside of a tab navigator. That will be a little bit too much, in my opinion. So let's just keep it simple and make it all in the same screen and just make the visibility different depending on the state. All right, let's do it. So let me add a sticky. Oh, we don't need this anymore. Let me make a sticky of what we're gonna do. One, change the header title color to um, make state. And for okay, so it's all pretty simple, and I think I can do it in like a few minutes. <laughs> so let's do it. So this is the shop screen. Uh, first, we import some some things here. And then we use them, right? We also define the variables here that like the prices of the stuff and the images that we require to show them here. Um, and then we have the, the shop, which is defined like this. And these are the props that come in, do something is the mutation that gets composed towards the com to be able to buy something and screen props are your device information and your user information so that way we know what weapon you have because it has to come from the server uh, at this moment we don't show anything if we don't have me if we don't have your user information or if it's still loading so yeah that's basically the same and then we, we sh sh don't show anything what we uh, probably can do to make it a little bit better is because this is really quick as a first draft so I still have to improve it a little bit because this should normally never be shown to the user except maybe if the user doesn't have a, a, a internet connection or something um, but then it will also probably show it somewhere else so yeah uh, let's keep it keep it simple then let's just make it like that I uh, like the activity indicator that's a React component. It's already imported. And then we can show some text like loading. And yeah, that way we just know where we are. Um, it gives it a bug. That's why. Why? Because I don't import text. And now I do. Um, this will be fine, uh, I think. So inside of this um, function, we have a constant buy something, which does the action. And the option is one because it's always the same thing that you buy. You buy the next thing. And then um, we lock the, the result. And then we alert the message, the result from the server. It's super simple. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, furthermore, we define, can we buy the house? Can we buy the weapon? Can we buy the protection? 
and we think of all the details. We define them all here, and then we define the help here. So we're going to split this up. As I told here, I want to split this up into three different helps. So I will call it hey, H weapon, H protection, and H house. H stands for help. And it's all Bob. And the first shop that we see when we we are opening the shop will be the the weapon shop. So it, he will say like uh, stuff like that. Um, I will keep it simple for now. Um, yeah, keep it super simple because the other uh, helps are gonna get just one line and that's it so h h this and then we need a state so because we need a state it cannot be a stateless component anymore <laughs> so i'm going to change that do i import react yeah of course um, so instead of construct shop screen i can do class shop screen stands react component and we have a constructor that takes props super props that's normal and And the default view is going to be weapon. And we're going to render everything. And then we're going to define all the props here like that. As you can see, it's just a really small change. And this is all gonna be same. This is all gonna be in the render. And do we use styles? I'm not sure. Um, we don't even use these styles anymore. They were still there. I am a really messy programmer, but I do that because then I'm faster. <laughs> so yeah. So that's the um, the class basically. Then we we add do something which is a GraphQL query to the shop screen, and that's what we export. And that's how it works, it's pretty simple. Um, so, I think it should still work, let's try. Maybe I made a mistake. Yeah, H is not defined, of course. Oh, how we're gonna search for H. That's a little bit shitty. Okay.
So the title should be okay. So first, first edge. Um, const edge is if This is how I normally do it. Um, if you don't agree with this, let me know. Maybe there are better ways. I'm always open to learn more stuff. And so we show H here, we show the title, and below that we need some buttons, right? Uh, the weapon shop is going to be the new state is going to be it, ch it will change the state to to weapon, uh, and that's it. It's super simple. And the same goes for oh, uh, so we have uh, weapons, protection, and and houses. Um, so yeah, it should be able to do that, I think. Um, it gives some error, I think. Raw text cannot be used outside of a text tag. So I'm not sure where we did that. Ah, no. Let me just pause for a minute. I will find it. Okay, I found it. Um, my my um, my my editor automatically adds a space sometimes if it's there to make sure it's actually rendered. But in this case, it it only gives me the error. Um, so I, I remove it now, and that will make it work. I think. Um, so we go to the shop, it says, shop, hey guys, okay, so weapons, yeah, protection, okay, and we still get all the things, but uh, at least this, this changes, so that means it works as we want, the way we want, and by the way, I think that it's better to to put the titles next to each other and put it directly under the header, not under the help. So let's do that. The buttons under there. And put them in a view. And just gonna put the inline style. I like inline styles because you don't have to look it up. And most of the times my styles are really simple. Anyway, so it speeds up the process a lot. As you can see, we have the we have the states, we have the menu a lot better now, and yeah, it, it changes the state. And then we have just really we show all the information. So weapon details, protection details. Okay, so let's. Make a very make a um, 
constant called details uh, that renders that decides which details we're going to render. Let details and that that's also dependent on the view, of course. So details is equals that. And that's actually how it would be now. So now it's still the same. Oh, I'm sorry, a little bit too quickly. Probably made one mistake. Um, yeah, so it's not possible really to just put it like that. How can we do this nicely? There's no because it works. It doesn't work like that. We should put it in a view. That's the only way it will work. And the view doesn't have any further information or style. It's just a view so that it's one component because we are not allowed to render multiple components without a containing component. So yeah, it's still the same as it was, and now it's really easy. So if we have the weapon, we don't want to show this stuff. If we have the protection, we don't want to show the weapon, we don't want to show the house. And if we have the house, or in any other case, we're going to show just the house. So now, we split it up nicely. We're still in the same place, only the things that are necessary so let's quit the help for now as you can see we're still in the shop we are in the weapon shop still some scrolling i don't like scrolling so i'm gonna change it a little bit more but we got the biggest thing done okay so now let's do the other things so we did this We did that, and we did that, and now we need to change the header color. Um, oh, what's it called? Title. So this is the title. Um, and it's just a text with some style. That's how it works. And currently it's black because we didn't add any color. Well, let's just make it white for now. Let's see how it looks. I think that's already a long due change that we really need to do. That looks a lot better. All right, perfect. I also think it's nicer if this is in the middle, these buttons. Let's do that. Um, wow, it's already 23 minutes. I should really work on making my video shorter. I'm sorry guys. I want to keep it under 10 minutes. Anyway. I think it's the justified content to make it centralized. Yeah. That's it, perfect. Um, so that looks looks pretty good. Um, I don't think we really need to show the second image. I think it's kind of nice to have this 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 like secret. You don't really know how something looks. You just have one image. So the next protect, next weapon. And the next half, the details are going to be without image. I think that's a lot better. Mm -hmm. So this, this all can be gone. Let's see how it looks. It makes it a 
Yep. Okay. So we have the section. Boom. Uh, doesn't that look nice? I really like it. I think this is a lot better than what it was. You can still scroll sometimes. And yeah. I think if, if we have the, the help guy expanding stuff, it still doesn't look nice, maybe. I kind of want to... Maybe, maybe it's better if we put the put Bob somewhere else. Maybe under there. Because this is just a lot of scrolling added without good reason. And... Yeah, we could also like make a home page or something to put to show the help. Or we just put it under there, under the buy button. Let's see that for now. I think that's good enough. Looks good. Please don't give me tips. Okay. Well, I think uh, that's a lot, a lot better. Um, so that was it for this video. Hope you liked it. If you have any questions about my code or about anything or have any, any tips or whatever, just let me know. I hope I helped. I hope um, I was of any value. And I would love to talk about it, about this kind of stuff later in other videos. And yeah, I'm really interested in why you are looking for this kind of videos and what you want to learn. Bye.